I'm really excited about today's film. Paul is not because she's gonna shit herself. I've got a nappy in my bag. It's called The Conjuring. I don't know who's in it, she'll tell you. It's pretty much like every other horror story where there's a ghost in a house and it's a really bad one. So The Conjuring is about Ed and Lorraine Wilson, Warren, sorry, who go <laughs> and uh, ghost hunt and find evil spirits in homes and houses. It's by James Wan who directed Insidious and Saul. And I saw Insidious twice for your information and Did I really you? loved it. Yeah. Oh good, so no nappies. No nappies. <laughs> I genuinely wish if people didn't look at me funny that I could walk around like this every day. Conjuring. It was fucking scary. Nothing really scares me. I've seen every horror that's ever been made. Okay, Willow scares me. Those little people freak me out. <sighs> Joking. It was really jumpy, like, and I was really impressed that you saw it. Emily was like this the whole way through, and I was like, if she's was, scared, yeah. who's, you know, who's gonna help me out? I was thinking, like, when I was putting my hands there, like, I was still watching it, but I felt like I had a guard there. Yeah. It made you feel better. I did that with the seat in front of me, I kind of was just like... Yeah, but you're still looking at it. Seeing the top of the screen, you know. I was looking at the guy next to us, and he was just like... The whole way through. Yeah, and I was like, where's your hand, man? He where's loved your guard? It. Yeah. The only thing about it, although it was scary, it's like every every other horror about poltergeists. There's a house, it's haunted, something bad happened years ago, they get an exorcism, they can't leave the house because it's not about the house, it's about them. That is the same shit in every, everyone. You know, to some extent I agree, but I feel like with James Wan's movies there's always just something a bit fresh. Mm -hmm. I think that's why this movie is doing so well, because you know, there's just something a bit different. He well, uses don't... like lots of themes, like the dolls. Yeah, but most horrors use dolls. Oh yeah, clap, that, yeah, that is what, oh my god, could you imagine if you got into bed and you heard someone clap in your flat? Under your bed. Oh my god, that would freak the shit out of me. Also before I went to bed, having ran to my um, room because there was a doll following me, I had this thing that I thought I was going to go into my sister's room and she was going to be doing this. We've done impressions of zombies. I think we should do an impression of being possessed. My neighbours are going to think someone's dying and they're going to go over and someone's crying blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hurt my neck. No, I really did. Shem. <laughs> oh, the things you do for the two girls in one movie things review we do, show. The things we love. Um, You'll go, oh, okay. my head rush. <laughs> I really don't want to do it now. <laughs> laughing. Oh, when you're possessed it's not funny. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I'm just putting it out there. I think I won that. Fine. Do you not think? Yes. So what did you think about the actors? We had Patrick Wilson. Right. We had Vera Farm I obviously as normal can't name one of the actors that were in it. Vera Farmiga. Yeah. She's good isn't she's, she? I she's recognize been her face things. but I don't really know. She was in Up with George Clooney. Mm -hmm. And also Lily Taylor was okay. the mother. And then yep. Ron Livingston plays her husband. I thought they were really good. They've all been in lots of things. Yeah, no, I recognise them. I thought they were all really good, actually. I would love to be in a horror movie. I would love to play um, Lily Taylor's role, where she gets she gets possessed. Sorry, but we've just watched your impression. I'm not entirely sure if a casting director is watching this that he wants a smiling possessed person. You know, I'm going to watch it back and see if I was smiling because okay. I don't know if I was. Question is. Not how, what do we rate it? The question is, can Paula remember the rating questions? Because <laughs> we've done this now about twenty-five times. It's true. No. Yes. Maybe. Um, Did I enjoy it? Did I enjoy it? Would I recommend it? Would I buy it? Yeah, I would actually. Oh my god, we both did that. Would I watch it again? Mhm. Mm is it a potential classic? Nothing is, is it? Well. You know, that's a bit of a redundant question. You're going to give it 5 out of 5 if you put yes. I'm going to go with the penis size I like. Really? Yeah. You gave it 5 out of 5 and you don't even like horrors. I gave it 4 out of 5. I think that's, I think that's a good score. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely tell people to watch it. Well, I think you need to warn people that they will be scared shitless. Yeah. But apart from that, just go see it. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's not saying goodbye. She's oh. just getting up and leaving. <laughs>